Hello again, I am Blunty. Now, when I've done the budget-minded PC builds here on the channel, I've always done the storage in a one-two punch. For the larger mass storage of games and such, I'll go with a mechanical hard drive, at least a terabyte. More if the budget has room. But I also find it pretty much essential to add a nice zippy solid state drive, an SSD, because frankly the day to day experience in Windows 10 is a bit sluggish with only a mechanical drive to push it forward. And once you've gotten used to the responsiveness of an SSD, it's really difficult to go back to just a mechanical drive. However, there is another cheap alternative to give your system a noticeable kick in the performance pants, at least if you're running a 7th gen or later Intel CPU, and it's Intel's Optane Memory. Now, Intel have sponsored this video, but I'm just going to keep things easy and clean. All I'm going to do is show you plain and simple side-by-side -side evidence of the real-world difference the Optane Memory actually makes. And frankly, speaking personally, it is so impressive, I think I'll be changing the way I part out Intel-based budget builds from now on. Yep, spoiler alert. <laughs> so, the way it works is this. While the Optane memory drive looks exactly like a regular M.2 SSD, and indeed it installs the same exact way, super quick and easy to pop into a rig, lovely, but it's designed very differently to a regular drive. Instead of being a standalone storage device, it's a stack of extremely fast memory that's designed to learn the way you use your computer and keep a copy of the most often accessed data from your normal drive on itself, where it can obviously feed it to you much, much, much faster. It's kind of like a RAID drive had a baby with a RAM disk, but then it went to school and got super smart, and then my metaphor kind of got all mixed up and stupid and fell apart. <laughs> Point is, if you really care about the technical how of how this thing works, you'd know by now. And the thing is, of course, you really don't have to understand the technical bits. All you really need to do is watch this video. Basically, it goes like this. You install it, you run the Optane software to set things up, it goes ahead and organizes itself, grabs some handy chunks of Windows 10, and after three reboots or so, it uses to learn its way around your Windows boot process and whatever programs kick up at launch, and you're good to go, back to normal, everyday, day-to-day -day use. Except faster. And to illustrate that point, what you're seeing right now is the speed difference between booting from a normal hard drive and then the exact same system accelerated by an Optane stick. And by the way, this is not some off-brand, cheapo, slow and chunky old hard drive that I'm using as my benchmark either. This is a properly fast, best-in-class, current model 7200 RPM Seagate drive with 256 megabytes of cache. It is a really good hard drive. But as you can see, Intel's promise of being twice as fast or more is absolutely true. Right off the bat, we more than doubled boot speed. And this does continue across to the speed at which your most commonly loaded apps and programs boot too. All those little taskbar apps and things like that, if you load Steam at boot, all that kicks up quicker as well. It's like I said, it learns what stuff gets used most as you use your PC normally, and then keeps all that at the ready. And the good news is this includes gaming boot times and level load times and things like fast travel and all that kind of stuff as well. It all gets a noticeable boost. And it's this bit that has me excited. This bit's super good news because while it's pretty common in builds these days for Windows to be installed on a little 128 or even 256 gigabyte SSD, where Optane can still give you a boost, but obviously not quite as dramatic over the mechanical hard drive, it is of course games for folks like me where Optane is a big old fat slice of groovy happy times. Of course, SSDs large enough for even just a few AAA game installs these days are pretty expensive compared with multi-terabyte mechanical hard drives, so many of us hardcore PC gamers probably have just a smaller-ish SSD for a few key games and keep the rest of our collection on a big, fat mechanical hard drive. So having Optane in the system to give those other big games stored on slower drives a kick is a sweet, sweet thing. And for more budget-minded builds, you can now get away with a single bigger hard drive and use Optane to kick the whole system up. Which incidentally is exactly how the system I've been running these tests on is all set up. All it has is a mechanical hard drive and the Optane stick. So this opens up a lot of really nice options and quite frankly it works better than I'd anticipated. I mean obviously I knew it was going to make things faster. That's why they invented the thing, that's why they sell the thing. I'm just impressed with how much faster things got. I wish I'd given Optane a go well before now, as a matter of fact. I'm pretty glad Intel sponsored this vid to give me an excuse to finally get around to using it. Because man, I've been missing out. Thanks for watching. I am Blunty, 
And I will catch you next time.